Today we are discussing about the velocity and the acceleration diagram. That is a graphical method we are discussing. This is the problem, 4 bar mechanism. In a 4 bar mechanism, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, A, D is the fix and crank. A, B rotated at 200 RPM in the clockwise direction. In this direction is rotating. And dimension of various links are as follows. A, B, A, D is 150. Sorry, B, C and A, D is 150. C, D, 80 mm. A, B, 40 mm. And find the angular velocity of the link BC and CD. That is omega BC, omega CD we have to find out. And also find angular acceleration of BC. This is the angular alpha BC we have to find out. I am Santosh Gaidankar. Based upon this diagram, I have drawn configuration diagram by taking the scale 1 cm is equal to 20 mm. They already they have given it. N is equal to 200 rpm. I have calculated omega here. 2 pi n divided by 60, this is the value will be obtained, 20.943 radian per second. Based upon the omega, I can find out the velocity of this one, v is equal to omega into b, that is the v is equal to omega into r, this formula is used in order to find out the velocity. It is obtained in terms of 0 0.837 meter per second, and this is the configuration diagram. Now, we are drawing the velocity diagram. Along the BC, I have to draw perpendicular line. That's the procedure we have to follow. That's the perpendicular line I have to draw. Perpendicular drawn line is drawn here. But I have to mention the direction here. Direction. Now, in this direction, why I have preferred this direction is based upon the omega. Because the omega rotated in the clockwise direction, therefore I will draw the arrow in this direction. I will write it V b related to a it is a relative method b related to a fixed end and next is bc again a perpendicular line is drawn the bc i know the direction i don't know about the magnitude here in this case we know the magnitude 0 0.837 we got it in terms of meter per second but we don't know the magnitude of here and we don't know which related to what if either this link you can select it or either this link you can select it. I will take both here. B, B related to C or or B, C related to B. I don't know. I don't know which linked link has to be related here. I will take both here. And next, again I will draw a perpendicular line to this one. This link. Again, I know the direction, but, but I don't know the magnitude here. But when it is fixed here, therefore, V C related to D. Now, based upon this one, I have to draw the velocity diagram. I will take a scale here. Scale that is 1 centimeter is equal to 0 0.1 meter. AB, I will take a ruler scale, I will draw a diagram here, velocity diagram, that is, I will draw on here, and length of this one is 0 0.837, I will consider as a 0 0.8 here, because it is very difficult to take 3 here, consider it 0 0.8 then I will go for the V B related to A and direction in this direction as I denote the direction the first letter has to be appear here and this letter has to be appear here as A and D are fixed you can consider A comma D both are fixed here both are fixed and next, the velocity of BC, we know B here, we don't know about the C, therefore I will go drawing the line with respect to point C in this way. Just move parallelly here. Draw a line. 
I don't know the magnitude. I know only the direction of this one. I will draw parallel to this one. And next, I will draw CD, but I know the point E here. Therefore, I will move parallelly exactly to this line. Wherever the intersection occurs, that point acts as a C. Now, as the intersection occurs here, the direction has to be shown towards that intersection here as well as here. Now, the VCB is written because based upon this intersection, again, VCD is written based upon that intersection. Now, whatever you assumed it here, VBC or VCB here you have to consider as VCB based upon this velocity diagram. Once you obtain this one, you can obtain the values of this one. Zero point four four meter zero point four four meter and CD will be 5 0 0.5 meter that's in terms of meter I have obtained it now I have to find out the omega BC here omega BC I have to find out here how to find out this one? V B C is equal to Omega B C into B C. This B C refers to the R. R. Omega B C is nothing but V B C divided by B C. Now what is B C here? B C is 0 0.44 divided by BC, actual BC in terms of meter 1.50 and the value obtained will be 0 0.44 divided by 2.93 radian per second that's the omega value here Next, I have to find out the omega of CD. V CD is equal to omega CD into CD. Omega CD is nothing but V CD divided by CD. Already is known 0 0.5 CD in terms of 0 0.08. The opening value will be 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.08 6.25 radian per second that's the velocity diagram it is very simple try to understand this one just along this line you have to draw a perpendicular line that's it perpendicular line for this one perpendicular line and transfer this perpendicular line and make it parallel to this one and draw the diagram similar to give diagram is drawn diagram is drawn in this way the velocity diagram is completed next we are focusing about the acceleration diagram before drawing the acceleration diagram again I have drawn the configuration diagram as per the scale one more thing I have left it here now what is the direction of this one? BC. This is the upward. And draw it here. 
upward that is anti clockwise it is rotating in anti clockwise and this one direction it is rotating in clockwise direction this one anti clockwise direction this link rotated anti clockwise direction and this link rotated clockwise direction next we are focusing about the acceleration diagram before drawing the acceleration diagram we have to draw a table make a table by showing the acceleration of the various link name of the link length of the link velocity of the link the acceleration of the link the formula is given an is equal to v square by r meter per second square at r alpha meter per second square ab link which is obtained with the help of the diagram ab link it is 40 in terms of meter it is 0.04 bc is 150 0.15 is taken here cd is 80 it is taken as 0.08 in terms of meter we have expressed they are given in terms of mm the first velocity of the link is obtained here already is obtained here first velocity of the write it as it is and find the normal by using this formula but the tangent shall become zero here zero because of uniform speed because omega is rotating in the constant speed therefore at becomes as a zero for this one in the second case bc we will know the magnitude we will uh, there will be unknown magnitude and direction is known in the case of cd the magnitude is unknown and direction is known how just look here this is the space diagram the simple trick we are going to use it for drawing this acceleration diagram now first radial or centrifugal or normal is drawn along the b here b and here i will write as a n b related to a and a tangent is drawn along to this center this is the tangent this is the tangent is drawn that is a t b related to a but this will be zero because omega is rotated in a uniform speed now next one i have to select point c why i have to select the point c based upon the velocity diagram there is the intersection of the c therefore i have to draw from this end only the c and only the centrifugal or centripetal or radial or normal force which acting towards this one this is the diagram i have this is the arrow i have to show this is a normal C related to B based upon the velocity diagram. For this one, I have to draw a tangent or a perpendicular to this line. I have to draw a one more line, and this line passes through this point. And this will be the tangent AT CB. Only I know the direction, but I don't know the magnitude here. Next, again this point C. CD, same. Normal is drawn. AN, C related to D. And next, again a tangent has to be drawn. A perpendicular line has to be drawn here. That's completed your acceleration diagram. AT, CD. AT, CD. Now, simple trick you can use it out. First, draw this line here. A rough line is drawn. Diagram is drawn here. I will draw a line. Just I will move it the scale here. And this is the diagram I will obtain. And this point will be the zero here. Now, A N B A. The arrow is facing this side, therefore B I have to write this side and A has to be written this side. And tangent shall be zero because of uniform speed. Next, this is the first diagram. Next diagram, this one. Just move the scale here. One more diagram is obtained here. And this A N C B C arrow is facing this side. The first letter should be C here. And B will be this side. 
again at the end of the C the tangent has to be drawn exactly parallel with the help of ruler move it to the C point this is a rough sketch I am drawing it out this is a figure 2 let's see this point is nothing but AT CD this is a figure 2 next figure 3 this is the figure 3 A N C D C is facing this side and D has to be done based upon this arrow and tangent has to be drawn here and it has which is passing through the C therefore therefore there are two C I will consider as this one is C C dash and one more C I will consider double C dash because there are it is coinciding at this normal C perpendicular I have to draw it AT CD this is diagram 3 1, 2 and 3 these are the 3 diagrams you have to draw first first AB AB is a normal I have to take a scale scale 1 cm is equal to 2 meter per second I will consider this the scale here AB that means 17.514 divided by 2 it is nothing but 8.757 meter per second I have to take it that means 8.7 I have to draw a line exactly parallel to this one 8.7 I have to draw the line 8.7 I'll move a little bit this side. Eight point seven it is. Eight point seven. Sorry. A N B A. B side B should be this side and A should be this side. Now this is the normal. Next B2 second figure. Second figure figure. Look here the table. The magnitude is unknown, the direction is known. Magnitude is unknown, but direction is known here but I have to find out ENCB here how to find out ENCB here 